Okay, in this video I'm going to try to replace the rechargeable batteries inside a WaterPick SR3000. Um, I have the problem right now where uh, it, um, if I leave it uncharged for about <clears throat> a day, really less than a day, uh, it, it's got barely got one good brushing left in it before it goes dead. Um, so you can't really take it with you traveling. It used to last almost two weeks. Uh, a single charge could, could give me two weeks of um, brushing when I was traveling. So the so. first thing you want to do is um, put the nickel in this slot here and twist it to the left. I've already done it so it'll be a little easier. Still takes a bit of pushing. I've chewed uh, it up and bit. actually I just remembered I think you can just push down on this. That's probably the smart thing to do. <clears throat> um, then what you've got here is, uh, if you push that all the way in, you should be able to pull the rest of it out. So this is the, um, I guess, the induction coil um, that actually receives the wireless charge from uh, the base. If you open this, then you can, this little piece of tape, and you can take out the battery pack and you can see it's just two triple A's um, and they're connected in series so they have a piece of metal down here and that I'm going to attempt to reuse um, and they have metal up here so what you're gonna have to do what I'm gonna have to do I haven't tested this before is to actually keep the metal on up here and then keep these contacts on up here um, and tape them down so uh, we'll see how that goes anyway so first I'm gonna cut this open and if this ends up taking a long time I will edit the video to go a little quicker okay first layer came off pretty easily okay Interesting, this metal is actually kind of welded on, I would say. Um, I thought it was just held in place by the tape. So, uh, this could be a little challenging. Let's see what I can do. Without cutting myself. need to be that long. So a piece like this. Fold it once. I folded it into thirds really. And then one more time. So it's basically got four layers here. And I am going to, just as a temporary measure, use a little piece of scotch tape to Get them even. Okay, that's better.
And I'll put this strip on top. And I'll just put a piece of tape that's a little longer, like that. Help me. This isn't to hold the, the foil down so much as it is to just keep it in position. Then I'm going to use that this tape to create some tension to keep it pushed against the terminals. It's a little tricky to get the I want the lights to line up with these lights here. All that's left to do is to go charge it.